I have a budget of $300 per day with a CPA of just $25, and it still isn't spending. So one, what's your break-even point? Or what's your average CPA? You want to go ahead and put three times the amount. So let's say your average cost per purchase is around 20 bucks. You want to put a cost cap at $60, and then your budget can be anything from 300. Usually you want to sort of at least have it at 500, but ideally you want it to be 1,500 plus. I haven't had it at $10,000 at certain points of time. Now you might be saying, if I put it at 60, it's going to spend so much money and it's going to get really expensive cost per acquisition. So it's actually going to do the opposite. When you put your bid so high, Facebook will give you the highest quality traffic. And usually with the highest quality traffic, yes, the CPMs will be more expensive because these audiences are more high quality, but because they're more high quality, you're going to get higher click-through rates, higher conversion rates. And as a result, your CPA is probably going to average around one third of $60. Now at $25, Facebook is not going to give you any traffic because people are bidding much higher than you so you're not going to get priority and then your budget is definitely too low like a strategy you can do is put your budget at like twenty thousand dollars a day but have a cpa of 25 that sometime ish works but your cpa is going to be the bottleneck so you want your cpa to be either really high or really low because in between if you put your cpa at like 30 35 40 you're going to get very mediocre traffic it's not going to be good it's not going to be bad so you're actually going to get a cpa of 40 dollars if you go and put a cpa of a hundred bucks, you're gonna get the creme of the creme, you're gonna get the first batch of high quality traffic for that day, and as a result, your CPA is gonna be pretty low because it's high quality traffic. So that's sort of how manual bidding cost control sort of works. And yeah, hopefully this answers your question, John. Now message me on Instagram at andyqmai. It's also in the bio of this video because I'd love to continue helping out in any way possible. And I've been sending out voice messages to all my viewers and all the people in my community. So I'd love to continue helping out. So if you have any more questions, send it to me on my Instagram because I'd love to help out, Chris. Hopefully that answers your question. Peace.